you in the air. You know what time of year it is. It's the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. It's underway officially as of today, and we are inside NRG Center. I'm here with Emily Owen at the Great American Petting Farm, and these guys are really the stars of the show. Oh my gosh, they are. We have so many babies right now. They're coming out our ears, but you're going to absolutely love it. You know, I've never seen so many tiny ones in the petting farm this, in this year. I know. It is definitely that time of year for all of our babies, and we're going to have so many more born before this is over. And this is such a great exhibit. Kids can come in. It's open daily until 9 o'clock. I'm going to put this little one down because she looks like she just wants to go and skedaddle. It's free to get in. There's a tiny fee for some feed, but it's just all about having a great time and educating on these animals. It absolutely is, and we are here for the young to the young at heart. Everybody loves the petting farm. Uh, little kids, adults, like I see more adults that come in. They're like, is it okay if we don't have a kid? I'm like, yes, <laughs> please come in. We're having so much fun. So there's exotic animals in here. There's also your, your typical farm animals. What? Tell me a few of the animals that we can find in here. So we have a lot of different breeds of goats, and we have uh, different breeds of sheep. We have fallow deer. We have llamas, alpacas, miniature cows, uh, chickens, ducks, pup belly pigs, as well as wallabies. Wallabies. Wow. We, I want to walk over here. Paul, camera guy, if you can check this out. This is what Emily told us is called a silk chicken. Explain to us what a silk chicken is because they look really fluffy and puffy. Yeah, so these guys are about two months old. They're still very young, but you can see how fluffy they are. They're called silky. Silky, chicken, sorry. okay. okay. Um, but they're, uh, they're, they're a Chinese breed. And they're just, uh, they're very fancy. They're not your typical farm chicken. They do lay eggs, but they're not exactly a layer, so to speak. Okay. Um, you're not going to get as many eggs out of them. They're going to be much smaller because they're so, they're a little breed. So when the kiddos and adults come in here, what kind of food is in the little feed oh. that you're giving everybody to pass so, out? Uh, it does come in a little ice cream cone. It's totally safe for the animals to eat. But inside of this, this one's not as mixed as well. But you're going to find sunflower here. Sorry, you're going to find sunflower seeds, uh, two different types of hay pellets, as well as an all stock chow for them. And we want to make sure that they're getting all the nutrition, the vitamins, and the minerals that they need uh, to eat throughout the day. Emily, walk with me over Let's here. Go. What it, What is this little tall one that's giving us a look right here? She is. Her name is Betty. She is. <laughs> of course, a, her name is Betty. <laughs> her, she is a llama, and she is so sweet and gentle. Uh, a lot of people think that she's going to spit because she's related to the camp and they're they are known for spitting but our guys are so nice and they're hand raised they have absolutely no reason to spit at people Aww. how old is Betty Betty is six years oh she's only six mm -hmm. okay they okay. live they live to be between 20 and 30 here you go oh, and this is a deer yes. look how beautiful what's her name this is Dixie now, will all of the animals in here eat the same feed? Is it okay for all of them? Yes, we make sure that everything that we are feeding the animals is safe for everybody. We do ask that people don't feed the pig and the donkey because they just have a different, their, their teeth are like ours. Okay. So we don't want anybody to get dipped. Uh, the other animals just lick their lick your hand or they use their big old lips like she does. She doesn't like the cone, she likes the grain. <laughs> well, you guys are open until 9 p.m. daily. Open at 9 a.m., plenty of time to come down yes. here. One of the most popular exhibits for sure at Rodeo Houston. We're in NRG Center, mm -hmm. and you're closest to Hall A. Yes. In the Ag Venture Center, yep. so you're super easy to find. Um, one rule that we will say is don't pick the animals up. Yes, you can see us picking them up, and, but if you would not pick up our babies, we really appreciate it. But photos are encouraged. All the love in the world. Can you tell us about how many kiddos you'll see on a daily basis? Oh my goodness, between school groups and families, we see several thousand a day. Several thousand mm -hmm. a day. And these animals, these are they're okay to behave with all these kids. They're so well behaved. Oh yeah, we are uh, a professional traveling petting farm. They have been doing this literally their whole lives. So when we are home and they're out on their ranch, they don't know what to do with themselves sometimes. <laughs> they're like, where's the people? We, we want to be petted. They love it. They absolutely love it. They're people pets. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this face. What one's this one's name? This is Quicksilver. Oh, well, Quicksilver is waiting for you at the Great American Pet farm oh and and this this guy's just looking for scraps right here hey there I don't, I don't, I'm just going to pet just a little bit, just a little bit for the pig. So, all right, Derek and Courtney, I'm going to be here hanging out with these cute little animals at the Great American oh, Petting Farm. Look at his at teeth. Livestock <laughs> Show and Rodeo, full schedule online, HoustonLive.tv. Back to you guys. Oh, my goodness. So cute. Little Quicksilver. Lauren, if you could just bring him home for me, I think we have room it's to perfect. adopt him. Have fun out there. I'll see you in a bit.